everybody, a question that I am getting fairly often about becoming a data analyst is, what do you think about the Google Data Analytics certification? Now, if you don't already know, Google recently released a data analytics certification program that you can take online through a platform called Coursera. And this program teaches you a variety of data analytics skills and gives you a certificate at the end of the program. It's gotten a lot of attention. As of recording this video, it has 162,000 people enrolled in the course, and it's very cheap. They're only charging $39 a month for as many months as it takes you to complete the program. And so it's a good program, a lot of people like it, and I have people that come to me and ask, okay, well, if Google is offering this certification program in data analytics, then why should I sign up for your data analyst in eight weeks coaching program? And the answer is that it's a completely different animal. It's comparing apples and oranges, and I'm gonna tell you what some of the differences are in this video. So the first big difference is time. The purpose of my program is to get you hired in as little time as possible, right? I wanna give you the minimum necessary in order to get you hired so that you can have a great job where you continue to learn, where you continue to develop these skills, where you continue to get better and better and strengthen your resume more and more and more. Now, the Google program is the opposite. The Google program tries to give you the maximum amount of information so that you have the maximum number of skills before you ever use it to get hired. For example, one of the courses in the Google program is learning a programming language called R. Now, R is a very powerful programming language. It's great for building algorithms. It's great for doing statistical analysis and, and predictive forecasting. And it's a great skill to have, and there are a lot of jobs that you can get using R. However, R is not necessary to work as a data analyst. Very, very, very few data analyst jobs will require you to know R. R is more of a data science skill set. It's for programming algorithms. It's something that's completely beyond the scope of the vast majority of data analyst jobs. It's also very complicated and it's very difficult to learn. I know from experience because I know how to do R. I've learned how to do this because I wanted to make the jump from being a data analyst to being a data scientist. So what's going on here? Well, Google is giving you this giant mass of information to learn, and a lot of it is completely irrelevant to getting hired as a data analyst. And this is actually kind of what most of us have come to expect, because we've been conditioned on this college model where you spend four years or six years or eight years in school, they put all of this information in your head, and then once you actually start working, how much of that information do you actually use? with some tiny little percentage of that, right? And it's just the way that the model works because you continue paying them as you continue going to school. Every semester, you give them an extra five or $10,000 and they put as many silly requirements on you and as many fluff classes as they possibly can because they wanna keep milking you for your money. They want you to keep coming back and coming back and coming back. Well, the Google model actually works the same way. Now, it's a mass model, right? It's a, it's a cheap price point, and they're getting a ton of people into the course at the same time. But since the price is monthly, they also wanna keep you for as long as they possibly can, right? So that's why they drag it out into six months. And if you read the fine print, they tell you that they're expecting 10 hours a week for six months. Now, 10 hours a week, especially if you're already working full time, 10 hours a week is a very long time. And over the course of six months, that's a ton of work. And they probably know that a lot of the people that are taking the course are not gonna be able to put in that much time. So the time is gonna stretch out even further. Maybe it's gonna take seven months, eight months, maybe it takes a year. And every month that goes by, you're paying that monthly fee over and over and over again. So the longer that they can keep you in the program, the more money they make. Now, my business model with the Data Analyst in Eight Weeks coaching program is exactly the opposite of that. I charge you one time, and my goal is to get you hired as fast as possible. So instead of giving you a giant ton of information for you to learn, I give you the minimum effective dose, the, the minimum amount of information that you need to know in order to get hired, and then once you get hired, at that point, you're getting paid to learn. 
Now, another implication of this is that the Google course is a heck of a lot more difficult. And, and some people thrive on that, right? So if you like a good challenge, if you want to uh, really, really challenge your brain and, and figure out how to program algorithms to predict the future, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then, you know, you might enjoy it. Go for it. But from my perspective, that stuff is not necessary to get you a job. And for most people, I believe it's more likely to discourage you rather than make you want to continue. And so what you have with this Google certification is you have six months worth of work, 10 hours a week, and it's very difficult, very complex. So, you know, you know yourself better than anybody else knows you, but in your experience in that sort of situation, how well do you stay motivated, right? How, how well can you stay motivated when you're doing something that's difficult, when you're having to put in a ton of time, when you don't see a result for a long time into the future, and even then you really have no guarantee of getting hired, all you have is a little certificate that says that you completed the course. For me, I would find that extremely difficult to stay motivated in a situation like that. In fact, I would bet you money that their completion rate, that is the, the number of people who start the course, who actually finish it, I bet you it's under 10%. And I haven't seen the numbers, but I would be willing to bet money that it's under 10%, probably under 5%, because it's just so difficult to stay motivated under those circumstances. Now, another difference, the Google course says that it offers career support. Uh, but it listed as kind of an afterthought. The 99% of their material talking about their program is about the skills that you're going to learn. And then as kind of an afterthought, they say, oh, and we offer career support. So I was curious, what do they mean by career support? I mean, you have 162,000 people taking the same program at the same time. What level of support can you really offer? Right, probably not much. And so I did a little bit of digging and I found that the career support they offer is that they have their own job board. They call it an employer consortium. Um, basically, they have a bunch of employers who probably are already posting their jobs on all the other job boards anyway, will post their jobs on the specific Google job board, which is the same thing that all the colleges do, right? The colleges have their own job board where, where a few companies just repost the jobs they already posted somewhere else anyway on the college job board. So really not very much help in my opinion. And then how much personal support are you going to get through the Google program? Are you going to have somebody that's going to be able to look at your resume? Are you going to have somebody who's going to be able to actually uh, get on a call and discuss with you how you can apply your new job skills to the job experience that you already have? I can pretty much guarantee you the answer is zero. There's going to be no personal support whatsoever. Again, because they have 162,000 people in the program, it's just physically impossible to offer support for that many people. Now, the data analyst in eight weeks coaching program, I keep to a small number intentionally because I offer that personal support for everybody. So while Google has 162,000 people in their program, I have 30. At the time of recording this, I have 30 students in the program. I keep the program small because my focus is exactly the opposite of the Google program. The Google program focuses on getting you the skills and everything else is kind of an afterthought. My program focuses on getting you hired and we just use the skills as a mechanism to get you hired, right? And in order to get you hired in as little time as possible, I have to be able to offer you that personal support. I have to be able to go through your resume. I have to be able to go through your LinkedIn. I have to be able to help you with the tough spots. Uh, if you're having trouble with any of the skills, I have to offer you that personal support or else you're probably going to be struggling for a while. It's totally normal when you're learning a new skill. So if you have that personal mentorship, it just makes things go so much faster, so much easier and keeps you motivated along the way so you don't quit when you hit a tough spot. So I hope this doesn't come off as me trying to trash Google's program. It's probably a great program. You just have to consider it for what it is. It's a cheap mass market program with over 100,000 students that is completely focused on giving you as much information about data analytics skills as possible rather than getting you hired.
So if you want to learn a lot of information, if you want to learn skills, if you want to challenge yourself and, and grow your brain, and you know, you're not particularly concerned with getting hired quickly, then it's probably a great program. I don't mean to discourage you at all if that's the situation that you're in. But if you would like to get hired as quickly and easily as possible and have full personal support along the way, then Data Analyst in eight weeks is going to be a much better fit for you. So if that's what you're looking for, then I would invite you to apply for the Data Analyst in eight weeks coaching program. So there should be a link below, just click that link, answer a few questions about yourself, about your situation, about what you're looking to accomplish, and then book a call on my calendar and me or someone on my team will talk to you about what you're looking to do, talk about whether or not the data analyst career path fits your goals and fits your abilities. And then if we think that it's a good fit, then we'll tell you a little bit more about the data analyst in eight weeks coaching program. And if you believe that it would be a good fit for what you're trying to do, then we will invite you to join. So click the link below to apply and book your call now. Oh, and by the way, if you have not already watched my free presentation on how to get a data analyst job, then I will put the link below for that as well. Please watch that presentation before you book a call. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.